everybody. So I have another unboxing. This arrived today and I'm super happy because tomorrow's my birthday and uh, so it's like a little early birthday present. Um, so thank you very much Lynn for sending this. The envelope is gorgeous. I'm loving the birds. I just made a vintage bird journal which um, I have a, a flip through of it and I'll, I'll put the, a link to it in the uh, the comments below um, but it's so pretty and the paisley viney washi tape is so gorgeous <laughs> all right Ooh. all right I just I love it and like this cool spray I have to make try to making some sprays all righty Oh, so this is full of goodies. There's tigers. I absolutely adore tigers. I think I put the tiger picture a few times at the end of videos. Oh, this is full of little goodies. I'm going to save this for last. All the little tiny goodies. Woohoo! Ooh. Oh, wow, there's like little stuff. Okay. Woohoo. Okay, I'm going to go off into squirrel land. Well, these are like little stamps. I've been eyeing the rainbow stamp pad. It looks so much fun. Follow your dreams. I like stuff like that. Um, it's a little bear. Hand stamped with love. <laughs> Life is too short to wait. I love these. Actually, I like them on this like tea stain paper, like aged paper. Enjoy the little things. Enjoy the little things. The bird cages, yay! And this cute little pennant banner. Ugh. I got some more stamps today too. I, I got three things in the mail today. I got uh, some really. I bought. I, I, I thought I bought some washi tape, but I guess it was two things of deco tape. Uh, so I can show those too. Like a bunch of deco tape. I got a bunch of deco tapes, a bunch of deco tapes in the mail. Um, they kind of smell a bit like vomit. I guess it's the glue that they use, but it's it's not uh, pleasant smelling. But there's all kinds of things. They're kind of cute, but eh, get what you pay for. But I got these stamps today. I don't know if you can see with the glare or whatnot. So they're little like banners. One is like a little pennant banner and little teacups, little plants, so gonna have fun with those. And these I've been waiting for so much. Alice in Wonderland ones, they're so pretty. So again, like I got these from eBay vendors from Asia and like super cheap. So little sidebar. <laughs> but um I have like lovely cloud paper, stationery. I really like that. So pretty. I wonder if like I could like get um and I would say cotton balls, but I can't touch them. They make me cringe like nails on a chalkboard. But uh try to make some. But this is really pretty, thank you. Very lovely. I like the sky. And here what's oh, a card? Oh, there's so many funky things. It's like a card with some with a, there's a peacock. I have a couple peacock stamps and there should be more on the way so I'm gonna want to do like a peacock themed book at some point. But this is lovely. I don't know, is it, no, it looks like it's part of whatever this was. So a little lovely little card with uh, the definitions, surroundings, nature at its broadest sense. I don't know. I'm not sure what the text is but it's very cute. So these kind of match in here, so I'm going to put them back. Thank you. And this, I guess um, to practice your letters, <laughs> it goes with a, a sheep, a sheep, meh, a sheet that I got from Tracy, which was uh, paper for people, kids to practice their letters. Very cute, very fun, bright colors. A little envelope. Ooh! Oh cool, there's two of them! I see everybody playing with... Uh, it's, it's called vellum? Oh, it opens like this. Oh, so cool. 
this vellum paper and I have not seen it. I guess I probably find it at Michael's if I get my butt back there. But it's so cool because you can see. Oh, look, it's, this is going to look cool in there. This stuff looks so cool. Yeah, I've been seeing all you play with this vellum paper and it looks like so much fun. And now I have some envelopes. See, isn't that fun? I'm going to put it the other way. I like to play with all my stuff and then like an unboxing video winds up being 30 minutes. <laughs> Thank you. I like this. is so cool. I'm not sure what I'll do with them. I have to make myself not hoard things. Happy Easter. I like it. That's shiny and gold. Thank you. I have I have a bunch of cards. Oh, there's, oh okay. this one's cute. The fun pattern. Fretwork pattern on this card comes from Thomas Chippendales, the gentleman and cabinet maker's director. Influential pattern book was printed in London. Oh, very cool. Edmund Dickinson, master of... owned a few copies of the book. Well, that's very neat. That has a whole bunch of stuff to look up. So I like fun pattern, and no, oh, there's like story behind the pattern. Very cool. I don't know if you guys can see any of that pause and read it. So I'm gonna read it all. This looks very cool. Love and the b tattoo style bird and art and zipper. Actually my stepdaughter would probably go nuts over this. This is like so her style. Oh there's so many cards. Ooh. A very fun colors. I had like a, when I was a little girl um, a silk shirt. It got I, I got a lot of hand-me-down stuff, which I loved, which means I could choose whatever clothing I want, and had like a very eclectic and grunge style. Um, but I had a, a silk shirt, and it had different panels in like bright blue, bright red, bright yellow, like uh, primary colors, and I loved it until it no longer fit. It was like my favorite shirt in elementary school. And very pretty. I'm, I'm gonna make something with all these cards. Hello Kitty, again, well, I mean, I like Hello Kitty, she's cute and adorable, but my stepdaughter is a Hello Kitty fanatic. It says, you're invited, it's time to potty, date, time, place, and RSVP. This is a little invitation for birthday party, and like, I want to color that, so pretty. <laughs> All these cool cards. And this one's funky. Oh, cool. It's like silver and shiny in the back. Monsieur Z. Oh, it's made in Canada. <laughs> so, it was from Canada, wound up in the United States, and came back to Canada. Welcome home card. <laughs> Aha, some heart print, which I save. Um, I keep buying funky. I have to cut them all apart, but funky uh, Kleenex boxes with like cool patterns on them and I cut the sides, have like these little cardboards with uh, patterns. Maybe I'll print and print, paint and decorate the back sides and I'll put some of them uh, in my next trading lot. But the hearts is not one that I see, so that's a new one. Oh, cool! Okay. One thing at a time. So a cute stamp, flower pot, and little bees. Oh my god, they're so adorable. Oh my god. Oh, that's the best stamp ever. So I imagine it's three different stamps, it's three different colors. But the bees! Oh my. I've not seen that before. They're so cute. <laughs> if, if you haven't, I don't know, if you've sent something to, to Liz, send something with the bees, because she keeps drawing bees on things. She'll probably, like her head will explode. She'll love the bees. Oh my gosh, the bees are so cute. And this is a transit pass. Very cool. Again, something I'm compelled to put in my travel, um, my travel, uh, uh, junk journal. And I just found, because I had like an old book full of business cards uh, that I used to collect when I was uh, in design school that I, if I th thought it was cool, I would I'd bring it and put it in the book. And then when I started doing events and networking and stuff, I'd also take 
business cards of all the people I met and put them in this book too. And I noticed I had some old Montreal transit passes, Montreal and South Shore transit passes from like maybe a decade ago. Um, I certainly haven't lived in Montreal in like five years. And uh, yeah, the last two or three years I did live in Montreal, I had a car. So I haven't done the transit thing really in forever. Um, but I pick up daily passes sometimes when I do go in town and and take transit. So I can save them and send them to you guys too. It's a good idea. It's super cool. Very cool. Nifty nifty. A little card. It's so cute. Pretty paper. Love it. Turquoise. I love turquoise. Is this one? Okay, that's glued together. So this... I don't know if that's like for doing embroidery or I don't know, like this woven, loosely woven cloth with like... Is that paper? I think it's paper to look like fabric glued on. This is very cool. All kinds of trinkets to put in my compositional book. Another lovely piece of paper. Like even just, like I know, like you end up with like scraps of paper from doing projects and you're like, eh, because it's paper that you have lots of and it doesn't feel special. But getting little pieces of paper like this from, from people, like I haven't seen this around here. Uh, so yeah, they're really fun. Like this too. Like, this is what's really cool about swapping. You get all these cool little things. And a damask pattern. I am obsessed with damask. I know I damasked a couple people's envelopes. And they have like a... It's about this size. It's not big. Like a stencil of like a damask pattern. And it is like one of my favorite stencils. And I like damask everything. <laughs> uh, which, uh, if you don't know, damask or damascus is a pattern which I think is from India or originated from India and you, yeah usually if you buy like wallpaper or fabric with this pattern on it it is obscenely expensive but usually also obscenely beautiful oh mad libs <laughs> I remember these from elementary school <laughs> my sister is a adjective pain in the noun <laughs> Imagine what somebody might write there. Last year when she tried out for cheerleading, noun, I never got an uh, adjective night sleep. <laughs> oh my god, these are so much fun. <laughs> I never had a Mad Libs book, but I have friends who would get them. And yeah, we would have a lot of fun being um, creative, shall we say, <laughs> putting, filling them in. The other side's home videos. <laughs> That's a blast from the past. I did the, didn't even know they still made these. Rooming with Shakespeare. Very cool. Thank you. I'm going to put that. I don't know. I'll probably have fun filling it out and I'll stick it in my composition notebook. Ooh, some napkins. Oh, many napkins. Oh, I'm spoiled with napkins again. So yay, now I have officially a napkin collection. Thank you, everybody who I've swapped with. I went from having three nap three different kinds of napkins, which I still have some I can trade. Because you buy a pack of napkins, you get 12 to 24 in there. Bird houses. They're so cool, and I absolutely adore the colors. I like this funky design. Very, very cool. Oh, I'm so happy to get more napkins. Ah, pink flamingo. Don't worry, be happy. I like that too. I used to have a pair of boxers with flamingos on them. Bright green. Whoops. Ooh, I got this. It's all the flamingos. <laughs> they have bright green boxers with bright pink flamingos all over them when I was a teenager. I think, talking about like old things from school today. And um, I used to like wear them to death. So there's another house one. Thank you. So now I have like two, one I can use right away, and one I can hoard. <laughs> now this one's pretty too. I, I, I know I said it in all my videos, but you guys, I don't know where you find these beautiful napkins. Every time I go to a store, I'll see some that are kind of, eh, but not nice enough to buy. I don't know, like, like certain, nothing like this, or even cute and funny like that, or, or you know, like, so pretty. 
Like next time I'll I'll film with my phone and show you guys like the types of napkins I find and, and you tell me. Like am I imagining things or am I being too fussy with the stuff I find in stores here? I, I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> this one's freaking gorgeous. Again, like this eggshell turquoisey green. Oh look and it's a big one. Look at that. Oh especially like I don't nothing like this beautiful. Like maybe something like not that beautiful. I'm gonna find something like this. Cute. And again, I don't know. Like I'd buy that. I'd certainly buy that. Definitely would buy that. And the next one. Like this is just so gorgeous. Birds. American goldfinch. Oh no, how does this fold though? Okay, like this. So I'm gonna have to start a binder to put all my Ah, oh, so I have to get some binders at the dollar store. Um, start a binder with all my napkins. This one's gorgeous too. Paris. And it's different from the butterfly in Paris one that everybody seems to have. Which is a gorgeous napkin, but I keep seeing it in all the videos. And I have one too, because I got one when I was in the States. Oh, just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Vintage style. Thank you so much. Yay! Napkins! I don't know why napkins are pleasing me so much, but they are. Thank you so much. Yeah, now maybe I may have like about 15 or 20 different napkins now. It's so cool. Very bright and fun tag. So cool. Oh, and another envelope. Oh my, you sent me so many stamps! I think that's one thing I'm going to do too, especially once I get all the other stamps, so a nice, thick, sturdy white envelope. So I guess that's a tulipy flower. The flower pot. Oh my god, the flower pot. It must be so fun to stamp, like make stamps. Oh, these little tiny birds. Oops. <laughs> They're so cute. Let's see. I don't think I'll have enough. Well, maybe if I move the napkins, put the napkins down there, have room to put them all. So little flowers and a border and the clouds. I like the clouds. Follow your dreams. More clouds. It's a cute little flowers. So I think yeah. Once um, I get more stamps in, and I might go buy another stamp pad or two, because um, the ones I have a bunch, but they're I always mix up dye and pigment in my head. Dye are the ones that are color fast, and pigment are the ones that are kind of chalky and can smudge. I forget, but uh, I have a lot of colors, but in the ones that aren't very stay fast. Although I wonder if I hit them with some fixer spray on top, if that would uh, seal them in. More experiments to try. Um, so yeah, I, I would like, um, and um, oh, I'm terrible with names, I forgot her name, but there was a very kind lady on Sugar's Candies who just like I guess likes practicing stamping or is breaking in her stamps or just really likes stamping and and so she traded with many of us on the group a little envelope full of these stamps that she did and I thought it was such a good idea because stamps are like really they're quite an investment and uh, but I mean it's like you know then you have like this envelope full of ephemera that you can stick on things they're so cute more border so yeah I think I might uh, do um, some just like stamped stamp swaps. So you just stamp on paper, birdcage and butterflies. I have a bunch of butterflies and a little bee hush, um, beehive, a uh, hush de bay. This is so cute. Well, maybe that's what you got with like that epic bee stamp. Every path has puddles. Oh, I like that. And little tiny ladybugs. Oh my. Some of these are so delicate and cute. Yeah, I really like this rainbow stamp pad. Maybe next time I get a Michael's coupon, I'll drag myself to Michael's and get it. Oh, yeah, they look really cool for butterflies and flowers, especially. Enjoy the little things. Oh, 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 I think I might have gotten a stamp. Oh, I did get the stamp. It hasn't arrived yet, but I can't wait to get it. What is this? There was like a bunch of... Yes! So yeah, this, and then these guys. Oh, I'm so glad that they turn out so nice. So I can't wait to get it. <laughs> but thank you. 
Oh, they look so cool. I uh, like grass and dandelions and stuff. I haven't... These are all stamped on. It's such a pretty... I should get some more bird stamps. I think I'm really liking... I'm digging birds. Really digging birds. I think I have... <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, but it's a tiny little fork, knife, and spoon. And that is the most adorable thing ever. Here's another one. Oh my gosh. That is so cute. Oh my. I love it. Oh, they're so cute. And little pretty flowers. Here, Enjoy every moment here and now. That is very nice. And some more pennant. Ah, this will be good. I want to make um, for my best friend a journal. She's very like into uh, Halloween-y stuff and Nightmare Before Christmas. And one of the stamps that I got out of the bargain bin at Michael's is a sh was it a sugar skull? Or no, it was like um, a skull couple. <laughs> so two skeletons and a couple. It was very it's very cute. Um, but I'll probably put that in her journal. Thank you. It's got a top hat. I like it even. Like, well, I mean, I like macabre and creepy stuff. Halloween. I'm like a huge Halloween person. It's like the only holiday I really like. More flowers. So pretty. Yeah, I need to get better dye colored stamps because I only have black and brown, really. This little seal. That's really pretty. Woohoo! Feather! Oops. Feather. This, another little seal. I don't know if you guys even see these. Enjoy every moment. Oh, this is cute. It almost looks like a cross section of a piece of cake. <laughs> some clouds, some more pretty birds. Yay! So lots of stuff to play with. And a spare to use and a spare to hoard. I know me. Little apples. They're happy little apples too. Oh, cute little dolphins. And you had... Oh, where did it go? Okay, red one. <laughs> and sunshine on a cloudy day. Oh, I guess they go with the clouds. That's really epic. Thank you so much for all these stamps. And I think I'm going to start doing them. Like, doing the same thing that you guys are all doing. Because this is really fun. And even getting, like, a small envelope full of all these stamps. Um, way cool. Especially like, I mean, I, I invested maybe about 20 bucks of like dollar, dollar ninety nine stamp packages off eBay. So I'm sh starting to expand my stamp collection. But uh, I don't know, I, I'm like, it's cool because you can get silicone stamps relatively cheaply, but do they get better as you work, break them in? Because, pardon me, I find they don't stamp very crisply. crisply. Crispy, crisply, um, but I've gotten, I have a f two different sets, somebody sent me one of Little Flowers, um, was it Lynn? I don't, I'm terrible with names, I'm very, very sorry. Um, somebody I swapped with sent me a, a kit of rubber stamps, and I got another kit of like little rubber stamps too, and the rubber stamps, um, and they work the same as the, uh, the silicone ones, you just put them on a stamping block and away you go, but the rubber ones just stamp so nice and crisp right off the bat. Um, so I don't know, do the silicone ones get better with age? Oh, little die cuts. Ah! Oh! Oh, look at this button! It's a little wood button with a picture of like a, 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 a dude with a lantern. That's way cool. Where do you guys find these things? It looks like it was hand hand engraved or carved. That's so cool. Wow. <laughs> you rendered me speechless. Thank you. Oh, he <laughs> some. Uh, I don't know what it's really called. I don't know. I always call this toilet chain or ball chain. I guess ball chain is nicer than toilet chain, but it's bright red. He. <laughs> I like bright colors. Oh, these are the... Are they little post-its? They're tiny little post-its. Is it a piece of candy? 
like mochi or is it like a flower? I'm not sure, but it's really adorable. Hee <laughs> hee. Some more things to put in my bujo. Okay, there's all kinds of post. Oh wow! <laughs> Look at the jumble of post-its. Don't forget ones. I'm gonna really have to make a dashboard now. That's a little tag. And you can like put something, hang something from that. It's so cute. And again, a little daisy. I really love daisies. My mom liked daisies. Her wedding bouquet was just a bunch of daisies. And this is another... Oh, I think this is like a lick, lick, lick sticker. Oh, you don't see stuff like that anymore, like the ones that you have to lick. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh no, okay, that's upside down. It's a little fence of flowers. Oh no, I guess it could be like that too. No, no, like that. <laughs> I'm indecisive and apparently don't know which way is up. Little banner post-its. Oh my, thank you so much. And all these little die cuts, more hearts, another funky button. I like all these funky buttons. I got a few. Another, another licky stamp sticker thing. Some more flowers. Let's see. I guess it got humid. We've been getting so much rain. Um, I might be stuck to the blue. This post-it. Oh, it's a bit tacky. So yeah, I guess it got humid in the mail. We have been getting so much rain in. Um, Ontario and Quebec. Um, I'm safe. I'm very, very safe. Even though I live in a valley about 100 meters from a pond in a marsh, um, there's a dam, so the, they just open up the dam and the water, like the water, it won't flood here. Um, but I have friends that are like less than a kilometer from like a flood zone. Um, they, they're okay so far. I think they're announcing a bit more rain, um, but yeah, it's very spooky. Like, all over Ottawa, Gatineau, um, Laval, Montreal, um, and all these are like really big cities, <laughs> um, are, are, are flooding. And, uh, like, it's, th this doesn't happen here usually. Um, so it's all very spooky, and hopefully my friends are okay, but yeah, there's lots of people. Like, today they, they closed down uh, one whole school board. Um, and, and uh, a couple of other ones partially to make uh, uh, emergency shelters for people. So yeah, I'm fine. Um, but yeah, some of my friends are in uh, dangerous zones and um, hopefully the water starts going down, but it's all very spooky. So <laughs> it's been very wet and rainy and humid. And these are like little spiral. I don't know if that'll pick up on the camera, but it's like very pale pink with purple or lilac purple, baby blue, white, and aqua green spirals, which is very fun. Like when I doodle, like I doodle spirals and doodle spirals. Oh my god. Those are little washi samples. It is the tiniest, thinnest little washi tape ever. And it is so cute on this little tabby tag thing. Oh my gosh. I don't think I have seen washi tape that thin before. It's so cute. And I know I sent washi samples to everybody. Well, washi and deco tape. So I don't have that much actual real washi. So thank you for sending some back. Another little piece of ribbon. Like all these random fibers. <laughs> A game of charades. So. Dr. Robot Pet. Robot would be easy. Robot's totally easy, easier than doctor. Uh, pet and satellite. Gym, level, grill and blanket. Well, those ones are a bit harder. I used to have, um, what was it called? Gestures? I think I still actually have it. I've never played it. I haven't played it in like decades. But um, it's the same sort of thing. It's like timed charades. So you have like five cards and uh, you put it in this like, it looks like, a, you know, those things in movies to like synchronize sound and video or something like that and um, so you put your cards in that and then you 
push it down and the timer starts going and you have like, I don't know, 30 seconds to get the first card and you have to grab it, if they guess it right, you have to grab it before it sinks into the machine. <laughs> um, and yeah, so it was a lot of fun when I was growing up, but I haven't played that. Oh wow. I am, oh, what was it? I saw something, something else. What was it? Oh yeah, the, well there's the little stamps, but I got some recipe cards, um, from a previous swap, which again, I'm sorry, I forgot the name. I'm so bad. Um, especially since I did like 10 trades all at once. Um, but there's some two more, and I really, I was a professional cook, so I, I have recipes that I invented. Um, so these, I, I really want to do a, a, a recipe junk journal book. I think it would be really fun, and these would be perfect for that. They're so pretty. So, so pretty. Because, yeah, like, I've been, like, recipes that I invent, I like. My boyfriend actually comes up with some recipes sometimes, too. When it's good, I, like, make him write them down. I want to take them apart. Um, and, like, family favorites. And I just want to make, like, a, a, a junk journal for recipes. <laughs> like, because I, I have, like, five or six junk journals, and I totally need more. That's another one that I want to do, and I want to make one with all the beautiful envelopes that I've been getting from everybody. And then, yeah, the tigers. Oh my god, thank you so much. So many little things in here. And the napkins, and all the stamps, and the pretty papers. I think my favorite is this button. Like, I don't know, I keep choosing a favorite out of all of them. There's, there's some really cool napkins in there, and some really cool stamps, but this button is totally epic. Thank you so, so very much, Lynn, and I hope you enjoyed your package, and it was lovely trading with you, and if you ever want to trade again, let me know. I will do so in a heartbeat. This was so much fun. Um, so I'll probably be posting this tomorrow, which will be my actual birthday. So yes, this was very fun, like early birthday present, because um, I have to drive up to Montreal tonight and see a surgeon. I'm actually seeing meeting with a surgeon and hopefully things go well and hopefully he doesn't need a new MRI because it'll take like six or eight months to get on a waiting list and uh, so wish me luck for tomorrow. Hopefully it'll go well and uh, when I get home I'll probably edit this and upload it so you might get it Tuesday or Wednesday, I'm not sure. Depends when I get home tomorrow. So thank you very much and thank you for leaving comments, and let me know if you do like these, or if you just think they're kind of boring, or, or in poor taste, or... But uh, I've been having a lot of fun. So, bye everybody, I hope you have a good week, and hopefully everybody's safe and sound, and not in flooded areas, or bad weather areas. I think there's some parts of Quebec that actually got snow today, and that's really depressing. <laughs> Anywho, bye! What you doing, Taya? Yeah.